Over the last year, AI has taken the world by storm. But the question is, how do we harness the power of AI as filmmakers to help us make better films and more money? Before we move on, I wanna read to you guys a response from a recent brand video I produced for a client. Wow, man, this is absolutely epic. My partner and I love it so much. You were so great on camera too and it felt so visual and authentic, so epic. And you really encapsulated Skyborn and that sense of adventure where you feel like you need to go out and explore. Bravo, I cannot be happier with the final result. Now, believe it or not, this client told me that he was so close to not hiring me. And I asked him, what was the thing that sold you then? Like, why, why were you on the fence? And then what was the thing that actually got me the deal? His response was, the way you presented the project with the script and the storyboard and the music and just the entire vision is what really sold me. Now, the reason why I found this hilarious is because I used AI to do this. And I'm gonna show you guys how to make better films and more money with AI. Most of us know about Midjourney and ChatGBT, and if you don't know, Midjourney is an AI app that can take any prompt and generate an image at the click of a button. ChatGBT is the same thing, but instead of generating an image, it generates copy or a script, a book, literally any written piece of material you wanna create, it could create in seconds just by putting in a prompt. Now, I would be lying to you guys if I told you that all you have to do is use these AI tools and it's done for you in seconds. That's not the truth at all. What I use them for is to help me get started, to spark that idea, get the gears turning. And if you use these tools to help you shape your idea, you could really take your creativity to the next level. For me personally, when I'm in that pre-production mode, everything starts with music. And I headed over to Artlist and I found literally the perfect track. Once I found the music track, I asked ChatGBT to write me a 60 second voiceover for a brand commercial about a travel backpack. The feel of the commercial is adventurous, inspiring, and intriguing. Now, while ChatGBT is writing things, I'm listening to the song on repeat over and over again. And it's very important for me to do that because it keeps me in the frame of mind. And while I'm reading what ChatGBT is doing, I'm kind of getting inspired and I'm thinking of things and it's sparking all of these different ideas. Now, this is what ChatGBT wrote, but remember that you're using this as a starting point and a source of inspiration. And sometimes you're gonna plug something in and it might give you something totally left field or it might just get you there and you might have to massage a few things. Now, after I plug in a few more creative and descriptive words into ChatGBT, then I start taking what ChatGBT is giving me and I start using that to mold a final script. The vision that I have for this project and the, the kind of feeling that I wanted to give is that I wanted the people watching this video to feel like they were missing out on not traveling and they were missing their calling in life by not going out and exploring. And as you're watching this brand commercial, I wanted you to subconsciously consciously notice the bag. I didn't want it to be so upfront. I didn't want it to be all up in your face. And with this idea in mind, I took what chat GBT gave me and I started massaging the script to reflect that vision. And here's what I came up with. Some of us are called to it, drawn to it, the freedom of exploration, to see the world through the eyes of wonder and curiosity, to find ourselves amongst the stars and discover places that excite us, the culture of a new city, or the silence of the trees. We were all meant to find that place that moves us so we can reach within ourselves and find something greater. Skyborn, the world is calling. Now that I had a final script, the next step was to bring a visual representation of what this was supposed to look like onto a storyboard, and that's where Midjourney came in. Now, taking this first line, some of us are called to it, drawn to it. To me, when I wrote those words, I saw somebody early in the morning in their room packing for an adventure they were about to embark on. And that's exactly what I put into Midjourney, and this is what it came up with. Now, this is extremely helpful when you're trying to storyboard for many reasons. Number one, you can get very specific on the type of image that you're looking for. But number two, it gives you a lot of creative ideas on how you should shoot your film. You could even go as far as telling AI to create this image in the style of any movie you want. So let's just say that I plug in the same prompt and I said in the style of Interstellar. This is what it came up with. Basically, you could take 
any cinematographer or a movie that you like and you could create a storyboard in that style. And then when you're on set, you could actually use this as inspiration for the shot. And instead of having a storyboard that kind of has something around the area of what you want it to look like, you could get very specific and use this as a reference of what you're trying to shoot. There were so many times where we were on set and we based our shot on exactly what we saw from the storyboard. And if you notice, some of these shots are very similar to what AI gave us from the storyboard. Now, moving on to the next scenes, it was very important for me to get images that really capture the vision that I was trying to sell to the client because you don't want them to question or have any ideas of what the final vision is going to look like. You want that storyboard to be as close to the final product as possible. I needed to find the vision of me with a backpack in the woods. I wanted it to feel cinematic and I wanted it to feel like a film, not like a commercial. So I did the same thing. I put a production still of a man traveling through the woods with a backpack and a moody cinematic force. And this is what I got back. Now, if you notice, it's not too far off from the final shot. I even went as far as drawing the inspiration from the color grade that Mid Journey gave me. And that's what's so exciting about all this. Like AI in my mind is not necessarily going to replace creatives. In fact, I think it's gonna give us the opportunity to enhance our creative ability and expand our imagination. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I couldn't have come to a similar conclusion without AI. However, what I am saying is that AI definitely helped me mold this story and the look and the feel for this brand commercial. I mean, for example, this shot of this guy in the water is almost identical to the shot that we got of me in the water. I'm usually the one behind the camera. I'm usually the one directing or I'm DPing the project. And in this case, I was in front of the camera. So to be able to have these images and show it to my crew and let them know exactly what we're trying to accomplish down to the composition and what background we're looking for. And when we were even scouting locations, like we knew what kind of locations we were looking for and what we needed. It was such a huge help because instead of relying on my words and just relying on what I wanted the composition to look like, I could give you this this shot and say, let's just shoot it like this. We'll use this AI shot as inspiration and we'll kind of go from there. But at the very least, we have a starting point and a base to look at where we both have an understanding of what we're trying to capture. Now, once I was done gathering up all the images on Mid Journey, I put it down on a storyboard in Milanote. And for those of you who don't know, Milanote is an awesome application that I use to put all my pre-production materials in one place. If you guys never used Milanote before, definitely go and check it out. It's great for pre-production. It's great for story building mood boarding, and even putting together budgets for your film. And how I create my storyboards is by sections. You, you know, you'll have the intro and that will have a wide, medium, and close up. And remember, the idea here is to show how the story is gonna progress in the edit. You want this storyboard to resemble the edit as much as possible. So while you're kind of looking and going through all the different images, it's taking you through that story. I include wide shots, tight shots. I'm as close to the final edit as it gets without actually putting it in your hands. And once I have everything laid out, this might be a process where I go back and forth between Milano and Mid Journey to just really get the exact imagery that I'm looking for to put into the storyboard. Now my last little secret, if I really wanna get a project greenlit and it's worth enough money and the project is cool enough and it's worth my time, I'll go ahead and grab a bunch of stock footage, throw it up into Premiere, put the voiceover and the music on there and really try to craft and edit that they could really see from start to finish where the vision is going to take me and the storyboard could help you know fill in those gaps where the edit doesn't and once i hand over all of this material to the client they have such a good idea of what the final product is going to look like and what the vision is for this thing where they could start to be a little bit more collaborative and they feel like they know exactly what they're getting. They're not just gonna spend a bunch of money and not know what the final product is gonna look like. I find that it just comforts them and it makes them feel like this person knows what they're doing. This person that I'm hiring has a vision, they have an idea, they understand the process. And also, if you're putting in all of that work and all of that energy, I guarantee you, there's no one else that is creating storyboards and using AI to generate the images and putting together script and music. I did all of that without receiving one dollar, but 
I closed the deal. Not only is he very happy, but he also wants to do a second commercial very soon. And by the way, putting in all this work into pre-production, all it does is that when you do actually have the project greenlit, it's a lot easier to shoot and to edit and it, it takes no time because you know exactly what this thing looks like from A to Z and you're not going to miss a shot because it's already on the storyboard or it was already spoken about. And I definitely recommend doing this and going through this process for projects that you really want to do, not for not for just any project, but projects that you really care about and you want to be greenlit. I, I definitely suggest going through all of the all of these steps. So now without further ado, Let's roll the clip and show you guys what the final product looked like. Some of us are called to it, drawn to it. The freedom of exploration. To see the world through the eyes of wonder and curiosity. To find ourselves amongst the stars and discover places that excite us. The culture of a new city or the silence of the trees. We are all meant to find that place that moves us so we can reach within ourselves and find something greater. Skyborne, the world is calling. I'd like to thank you guys for staying to the end of the video and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.